Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about how limited run games backed the wrong horse. Yes. Or rather, uh -huh. ha ha, backed the wrong brony. Uh, we're going to talk about that situation again. Uh, we have a little more information and we're going to come at this video a little bit differently than a lot of people are. A lot of people are calling out um, you know, the person in question, uh, Purple Tinker, Purple Tinker, calling out Purple Tinker's uh, lifestyle, Purple Tinker's past, Purple Tinker's appearance. We're going to talk about Purple Tinker's behavior and some of the stuff that's been said and how this is going to uh, absolutely leave a mark on limited run games and how businesses need to be very careful that they are not targeted by activists looking to just cancel someone because at the end of the day purple tinker is not responsible for the lost sales mm -mm. right purple tinker gets to walk away and uh that is it gets to turn their twitter account on and off as they please turn it turn the twitter lock everybody so it's like that people agree with them yeah and we're going to talk about a statement that was put out by purple tinker uh purple tinker's side of the story and uh, all of that. And for those of you who don't know, just very quickly, Limited Run Games, which releases physical copies of video games, both independent titles and retro titles. Uh, they've been around for a number of years, about eight years now, I think. And they really stepped in it uh, earlier, I think it was over the weekend. They fired their community manager based on people that she followed on Twitter and some tweets that were dug up from well, 2016. No, I think what happened. No, I think what happened was she tweeted that she was very excited to play Hogwarts the new Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy game, yes. and from that, that that triggered this person. I'm gonna call Purple Tinker PT because it's easier. It gave PT PTSD, and then PT had to go and then suddenly went to dig through their Twitter, because that's what these people do. Because they have no life, they sit at home and just seethe about everything. And because this person dared say they, wanna, they want to play this game, they must be a transphobe. They've liked and followed libs of TikTok, um, and apparently, you know, Gina Carano at some point, and then uh, six years ago, guys, they dug in what they could find one tweet from six years ago where that, that proves that they're transphobe. And that, one tweet, they had more, they would have presented it. And then Limited Run Games not only got rid of her for that infraction, but they flogged her publicly. They didn't name her by name, but they, it wasn't hard to find. It wasn't hard to find, but they actually put a post out there and they talked about how, you know, they, they were getting rid of an employee because of after an uh, investigation, after an investigation, which is basically just listening to purple tinker. As far as I PT. can tell PT. And, um, and we'll talk about that. Cause if you investigate PT, you're going to find that the rabbit hole runs very, very deep. There's a lot of drama around this particular person. So what we're saying is, of all the people to listen to, this was one of the last people you wanted to listen right. to. Right. This person admittedly was a harasser and a bully. Um, it's ridiculous. Basically, these people are anybody who says they're interested in this game, they're trying and they have a position in gaming or someplace like in journalism or whatever. They're trying their, their hardest to get them removed because don't you know, we need more women in gaming, but they have to agree with them. Yes, they have to be the right kind of woman, mm -hmm. a woman that knows her place. Yeah. Knows that uh, Hogwarts Legacy is a naughty, naughty game. And uh, I, I look, I said in another video talking about Hogwarts Legacy, I, I think this game is going to kick off Gamergate 2.0. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this is this is actually a, definitely a volley toward that, you know, this whole situation. Uh, Limited Run Games has gone on the run. They've actually uh, not, or they're not allowing customers to tweet them directly anymore. They've closed their comments. People are retweeting them. It's brutal. Uh, lots of people asking for refunds, myself included. We just placed a, a sizable order. The or, day before, two days day before. before this happened. I'm like, well, I'm out. I'm out. Um, So we're going to talk about PT or, you know, Purple Tinker, or Petty Turd, whichever you prefer. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the, my, my, in my mind, headcanon, it's, it's Petty Turd. Yeah, well, we're not going to resort to dragging Purple Tinker for Purple Tinker's lifestyle or appearance or any no. of that. There's speculation. There's plenty of other things that, that they've yeah. done that you don't yeah. need to even go there. There, Yeah, there's, guys, this is like, this person is absolutely infamous. This would be like listening to Chris Chan, you know, taking business advice from Chris Chan, basically, mm -hmm. is what, what they've done. And it's going to be to their their own detriment, right? So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, 
and Rants guys over 285,000 subs, almost 286,000. Thank you so much for the support. Again, this is the uh, second video I think we've done on this. We talked about it the other day and more and more information keeps coming out. Now, and some of it they claim isn't true. Yeah, we're going to we're going to talk about Purple Tinker's response to the situation. Uh, yeah, uh, went went off of Twitter when things got too hot and then came back to Twitter to tweet up a storm and then leave, you know, drop this uh, this statement and then leave again. Well, I think they're back again, but they blocked you. Yeah, I got blocked. So apparently they've watched the video. I'm not blocked, so. I don't think, I don't think they, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, this is, this is the take from Tech, Tech Raptor, right? Um, not very many media outlets are covering this no. at all, except for there were some right wing media outlets that are, uh, they do get into, and I will, I will support what Tinker says, PT says. Um, they do get into name calling and dragging for, you know, whatever. And Appearances. They drag the entire brony. Well, there I are some articles. Said, that drag I just in. said petty turd, but you know, I stand by that. There are some articles out there that are dragging the entire brony community because of it. Even though my understanding is that the bronies kind of disavowed themselves of PT a while ago because of a lot of the allegations. And, and, and I think there's a discussion too, that PT might not even have been the one who founded BronyCon. You know, it depends who you that, ask. It depends on who you ask. Look, I personally don't have a big knowledge of BronyCon lore. We we are not we are not bronies. We have a good friend who is. Uh, was. He will. He has been out of it for years. Yeah. I was an old school My Little Pony collector before bronies. Yeah. Um, so it's it, that that's a whole nother issue. But yeah, I was kind of like I was looking at some of these articles and I'm like, they're dragging the whole scene. I don't think that's fair. You know, because no. they're like, oh, my God, these grown ass men that dress like, you know, horses are, of course, they're you know. right. It's not everybody's fault. Just because no. of one person's bad action. So, right. Right. Let's just right. go to the points. All right. Here's the point. This is, gives you a good rundown. Then we're going to get to the uh, the statement here. All this began when community manager Kara Lynn, also known as Kara Gooch, made comments about being excited to play Hogwarts Legacy. They admit mm -hmm. it's over Hogwarts Legacy, a game that is surrounded in controversy owing to the transphobic views of J.K. Rowling and espoused by ex-lead designer Troy Levitt, who has left the company. Yes, journalists like you helped push him Wait, out. Wait, but espoused by when? When did he espouse J.K. Rowling's views? I don't think he did. I think they dug up some old videos he did from like seven or eight years ago. Where he dunked on so gaming clear, journals. So clear, we have a clear uh, bias here. But anyway, yes. the other ones have bias too, to be fair. Following this, Twitter user Purple Tinker, who has since deleted their account, described Lynn as a transphobe with several known right-wing and transphobic accounts on the list of accounts she follows on Twitter, including Ben Shapiro, Libs of TikTok, and others. Uh, Gina oh, Carano. Right. Gina Carano yeah, was one. And Ian Miles Chong was yeah, one. Yeah, Ian Miles Chong was the other one I couldn't remember yet. Uh, Purple Tinker pointed to several tweets made by Lynn in the past. There was one tweet. One tweet. You have to go. You have to go back to 2016, which probably predates Kara's time at the company, right? You have to go back to 2016 to find something that quasi support you. If there were more than theory. one tweet, they would have been sharing it all over the place. Now, uh, just a reminder, and if you didn't see the other video today, Hogwarts Legacy is selling like crazy, so there are a hell of a lot of transphobes out there. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's because most people like Harry Potter, like a game, and and they they aren't equating it to to hating trans people. Right. Right. Um, yeah, so this is the one about the bathroom. We talked about that where she basically was like, Hey, you know, there are guys that are going to misuse that and get them in the bathroom, et cetera, et cetera. Now, uh, apparently her husband did some artwork for limited run games or whatever. They tried to contact limited run games. They're not answering them. Limited run games is not answering anyone. Uh, no, they're run. probably holding their asses and crying in a bathroom. <laughs> limited run games is on the run. They keep dropping tweets. Look, look, get excited about all these games, guys, right? And then the comments, you nope. know, or retweets. Let's look at the retweets here, guys. Um, did you request to be shared in limited run games because you wanted to share your support for the firing of Carolina? Uh-oh, because we actually, we just bought Frog Gun. We just bought it. Um, hey, do you want to fire other employees because they follow the wrong people? I hate you with every inch of my body. Is there any positive ones? Why? Uh, when I can buy games from companies that don't fire their female employees, they dare to think a conservative thought. No respect women. Don't you know? Because don't you know that no woman or minority ever uh, thought differently than extreme left? You fired an employee for following people on Twitter. You don't agree with it. It goes on and on. I don't think, I don't think anybody is actually defending limited run games at this point. I mean, they've disabled replies. Um, 
this is this is crazy. And it's it's gotten so bad that they're even uh, adding context to their tweets now on on Twitter. There are people saying that hey, uh, the community, the, the Twitter community, disagrees with their assessment that they let someone go. Um, you know, just basically because they found their views to be uh, uh, unsavory, right? So let's let's see the um, let's see the statement here. Oh my god, how long is it? It's, it's like their other one is like several. No, pages. it's only two pages. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna bring that. So so just just the back hill a little bit. Uh, Purple Tinker has had to apologize to a lot of people that uh, they've wronged in the past. And they they admitted that they they are they harass and they bully and they were gonna try and not do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, Purple Tinker admits to harassing, and this is just like two years ago. And I mean, like, if this person, if this person at Limited Run Games had, like, just recently made like a tirade about trans people being horrible and all this other crap, okay, I could see why they'd be mad. Absolutely. But yes. all they said was they wanted to play the new Harry Potter game, to which this person took it upon themselves to dig through their Twitter to find a check sheet of things they had problems with to complain about. Meanwhile, PT is the last person to be lecturing anybody on how not to be a shitty person. PT, if you Google PT, now there is this lengthy Tumblr thread. I won't get into that. It's like some 4chan stuff, right? But they have been documenting this person's behavior for a decade. It got so bad that it even made mainstream news before all the allegations mm -hmm. around this. Pro so I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to be that guy. But like if anybody that you're going to listen to, if, if this is the only person you listen to, you absolutely back the wrong horse. Mm -hmm. You back the wrong pony because... Uh, I would have taken a look at this person first before you tossed your employee overboard. Now, the other theory I have, and it turns out that uh, some of the people at Limited Run Games, the president, I believe the president, is actually pretty far left himself. And it's possible that it is possible that they were just looking for a reason to get rid of her because they knew she mm -hmm. had, uh, you know, followed different the wrong, views. different views, followed the wrong And they didn't counsel. want to fire a woman because you fire a woman in gaming and then you're, you're the asshole. And then it's like, oh, okay, this, this one trans person complained. There we go, guys. That's it. We'll just blame. Now we can be misogynist. This is completely cool. Now we can be misogynist. Now you've been, and if that's the you case. You can't call me misogynist because I had grounds. If that is the case, if they were waiting for the right person to come along and give them the ammunition they needed to get rid of her because of her, her politics, they just threw a trans person under the bus because uh, Purple Tinker is taking the brunt of the hatred. That's this true. Point. You know, even though Limited Run Games made the decision, uh, Purple Tinker is taking the brunt of the abuse. So I hope you're happy about that, too. Uh, no one should feel threatened unless you're, you know, this woman who worked for them. No pony Or someone should. like her. So this is the statement. It's only a page and a half. Oh, okay. Popped back on Twitter just to post this and probably went running back to Mastodon. Or no, I think that she's still on there right now. All right. Statement from Purple Tanker. Several days ago, I wrote a tweet complaining about past transphobic tweets by the community manager for Limited Run Games, a company from which I bought thousands of dollars of merchandise. So have other people. So have other people. In fact, we just bought a bunch this week. After an investigation to their credit, Limited Run Games apparently fired this manager. Since then, I have been deluged with targeted online harassment. Again, if they were planning to do this, they put Purple Tinker right in the crosshairs, didn't mm -hmm. they? I've been called a degenerate freak, a, I'm not going to say it, you can read it, and a barrage of other slurs. A stranger emailed me and say that the supposed 41% suicide rate among trans people isn't high enough. That's awful. That's we, not, no, 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 I'm, no, no, no. They're, they're, look, let's, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. You can read what's on the screen. Because now you're just proving that, you're just proving them right and then giving them ammunition to use against you. Yeah. And we get shit like this too. I mean, we do. not, I have Telling been, us, they're, they're telling our, having our kids kill themselves. Yes. We, we've gotten all kinds, and it's usually following a hot take on a stupid- On a cartoon. Cartoon show. 99.9% of the time, uh, any death threats we get, and we do get them. And in fact, some of them have been passed along to authorities- but they come from randos after we criticize a fucking cartoon show. You know, so, I mean, I, I get it. You, no, yeah. Nobody should be, you know. I don't agree with, with limited run games. But at the end of the day, they're the ones who listen. They're the ones who yes. fired this woman. Yes. And they're the ones who are now letting this trans person take all the, take all the heat. I, I don't think it's okay to write somebody and tell them things like this. This is not helping. And this is not, um, this is just making them look like, look like they're right. So don't do that. Yeah, so that's that's it, and that's I you get know, you're mad, but you know, yeah. Limit Run Games made the call. At the end of the day, they made the call. They did not have to listen to Purple Tinker. In fact, if it were me, my company, I would have looked at the evidence and been like, okay, well, who is this person for starters? 
simple Google search would have been like, oh, well, I'm not trying to be a dick, but if we've got this one person of all the people that could possibly complain, this one person is complaining. Yeah, I'm going to throw this one out Mm -hmm. because there's a long history of just going around stirring shit, weird behavior. Uh, The irony is, is that these people claim to support free speech. In fact, they use my freedom of speech in order to complain about this LRG employee in the first place. All because she liked Hogwarts. You know, I love it. I love it how it's freedom of speech when they do it, but it's not freedom of speech when you complain. Uh, if the people directing abuse my way truly believed in free speech, I wouldn't be targeted for using mine. Uh, what this is about is their transphobia. Okay, this person is always hell bent on transphobia. They've deliberately mocked my appearance and contrasted it to that of a woman. The woman fired from allergy. Uh, that I. That's. That's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean you know, purple tinker could be the hottest tinker there is. And you'd be like, you still listen to one person who's got a pretty dubious past. And then, and then if the other girl that was fired wasn't as as attractive as you thought, would you think that she deserved to get fired? I mean, that's, that's, that's not. mm -mm. Yeah. So lives of TikTok has a long and well-documented history as a hate account. Spreading dangerous propaganda against. No, transport. basically what they do is they go around putting pic- videos up from, t- that, from TikTok that usually make these people look absolutely crazy and stupid. Um, that they posted themselves publicly. Yeah, I mean that's that. I mean, look, I that's not something I would do. I, I'm just. I'm. But I mean, the, a lot of times it's just like, oh my god, this person's like nuts. Yeah, there are people out there. I, I swear to God, on TikTok, I especially, I don't think they actually believe it. I think they're just posting the most ridiculous stuff they can because they know it's going to get views. They're hoping to go viral and then they'll post like real content afterwards. And some of them are just at the nuts. I mean, this is what happens when you, when everybody has access to a smartphone and the attention, potential attention of the world, this is what you get. This is what you get. Um, But I mean, as far as like having a long history of harassment by their own admission, by their own admission, purple tinker has a hell of a rap sheet. Well, there was even the one tweet that someone had, they had posted, they had images or whatever from something that was when the Boston Marathon incident happened with the uh, bombing. And they were just like, they were mad because they said that they, that, that the Brony convention had said, the Brony con had said about sending thoughts and prayers out to people. Yes. And then this person actually came into the chat and was mad. Yeah, and then um, this Lyle on Twitter had tagged me in on this too. And it was interesting, from the Bernie Con, when the Boston Marathon incident happened, said, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in Boston affected by today's tragic events at the Boston Marathon. Please stay safe. And the comment from Purple Tinker is, at Bernie Con, this is how you you know Bernie Con is crapping all over my legacy. They talk about praying in their public Twitter feed. <laughs> Brew scrony <laughs> And then at the end, someone's like, "What? Are you, are you, you know, are you for real? I can't tell if it's a joke. Yes, I am for real. Religion is not a wholesome, warm, fuzzy thing. It kills people, including many LGBT people like me. Okay, so um, how many of how many of limited run games uh, people, you know, customers are religious? Because I guarantee you, a lot of them are. Even if they're not Christian, you might have Muslims. You might have, you know. Jewish people, Jewish people. Um, and they might be incredibly offended that this is, you know, a person that you listen to. So purple tinker doesn't like religion and doesn't like religious people. Do they, are they anti-Semitic? That is true because it's not just Christians. It's not just Christians. I mean, you could argue that religious people. In fact, there are other religions out there, uh, that take less kindly to LGBTQ people than Mm. Christians do. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, I thought they said deliberately, they said religion in general. Okay. They just made it a general, um, you know, so anyway, there, there is that. And look, the backlash, uh, they're losing followers every day on Twitter. I don't know what they're losing in sales. They've basically gone radio silent. They're putting out posts of new games that are coming out, but they're not replying to anybody. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I mean, I got to think that. I got to think that somebody at Embra- Embracer Group is probably Well, it's like, interesting. They're also unfollowing the people, too. There's three they unfollowed. So I wonder if people questioned them and then they unfollowed them. I, I don't know. Or they blocked them or something. They might have just, you know. So a statement against grooming and pedophilia. Now, that did come up. I didn't know about those allegations until after we did our other video. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go there in our video. But there have been some some of her own tweets. That have I think been, Data Racer has that up on Twitter. Yeah, there's there have been some tweets. If we're gonna dig through people's tweet histories, there have been some tweets out there. They're kind of like mm, fourteen and twenty seven. That's not really okay. Just saying, uh, just saying. 
But um, in conclusion, let's let's skip to in conclusion, because you can you can make a damn good case for not listening to this person without going there, without dunking on appearance, without you know uh, you know being derogatory toward trans people. Just based on the history and the flimsiness of the argument, you can be like, this is a piss poor business decision, and it's going to cost you. In conclusion, it's notable that the right wing accounts and outlets reporting on the story have tried very hard to make me personally the story. Well, except we're not right wing. We're not. Uh, and no, and that's the thing is they can't wrap their head around the fact that you don't agree with them, and you and you you and you're not alt right Yahtzees. Um. And look, I, and I'll admit there are some articles out there I've read that I'm like, come on, really? And they're like dunking on the entire brony community and all that stuff. I'm like, come on, that's not that's not necessary. It's you not know? all their fault because they all think that this person's a nut job too. We had so many people in the comments and we do have a lot, I think a lot of bronies or former bronies that follow us because we cover a lot of animation stuff. And they're like, we we disowned Purple Tinker years ago because of this Yeah, they wacky disowned behavior. them a while ago. So, you know, they're not all complicit in this. Um. Yeah, I'm not the story here. I, I agree. I love this. This thing read like National Enquirer headlines. So does your complaint. Uh, you're not the story here. The fact of the matter is Limited Run Games, which has gone radio silent, threw you under the bus. They're letting Purple Tinker take the rap for their decision. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, at the end of the day, they're, they're content. Hey, I'm going to be honest. On top of everything else that they've done that's shitty, they fired Kara, Kara uh, because of who she followed. They're letting Purple Tinker get fed to the wolves and take all the blame for this because they won't step up and fix the situation or address it. They said limited run games works with many LGBTQ plus creators and has many LGBTQ plus customers, right? Who all don't agree with you. They don't. We've a lot of them don't agree with you. T Purple Tinker and have decided they aren't comfortable with community manager who makes LGBTQ plus people feel unsafe. Actually, it's mostly just been you who's been complaining. Most people think you went too far. Now this, yeah, pretty much. That's everything I've heard. I haven't heard of anybody really supporting this. They're like, if, if Kara had made transphobic comments recently herself while under the employment of LRG Games, absolutely. If she was using email to send out hate spew. Absolutely. And remember, this all came from the fact that she was excited about playing the Hogwarts Legacy game. All of this. Which I am convinced is going to kick off Gamergate 2.0. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to be a catalyst in it for sure. Uh, there's nothing newsworthy about a company firing someone they find to be a bad fit. Yeah, there is. Cause you went out of your way to dig up a tweet from six years ago to have a yes. hissy fit about. To find some dirt, some dirt. On but them. you just have to like, you know, just do a quick search and there's tons more dirt on you. In most U S states, including North Carolina, where LRG is based, employment is at, well, that is true. That is true. We've talked I, about that before. I don't think, I don't think there's really a case people said that she should sue i don't think there is a case this means it's perfectly legal to fire someone for even a simple personality conflict ironically the right wing push for at will employment over the decades was targeted at breaking unions and discriminating against poc women oh and for god's sakes no it wasn't making it about, unions probably yes so it's all about me <laughs> everything's it's, oh, it's, everything's about me and how i feel uh, perhaps the real story here, supporters of business rights get upset when businesses exercise its rights. No, I think there probably was more to it. I think there probably might have been some low-key threats. Like, boy, it'd be a real shame if the entire trans community boycotted your games, wouldn't it? It'd be a real Okay, shame. great. Show us your messages to, uh, you know, if you're saying that you didn't do that, didn't push it too far, and they just, let's see, let's see the messages. So now... Limited Run Games is in a really interesting situation because not only are they getting backlash from a lot of their customers, not only are they getting the negative headlines, but if if they're like, oh, shit, we did back the wrong person. We shouldn't have listened to this one person. Um, then they're throwing her under the bus. So they're right. just not saying anything. But, but Sally, the far right, again, we don't lean right, would rather target one individual trans woman than fire. This. So you're using trans as a, being trans as a shield. You went out and deliberately tried to get this person fired because they were excited about a game that you're pissed about. That, at the end of the day, that's what it was. And it was you who did it. So why is everybody going after you? Because you were the one who did it. If I were in charge of limited run games. Now, I don't know what the chain of command is there, who made the decision to fire the community manager. I would be ungodly pissed. Because I would be like, did you even bother looking into the person complaining? And why is it one, liter literally one person? Literally one person. Out of that, but if they hadn't done what, that, what this person wanted, 
they would have gone out and, and tried to cause all this because kind of shit they could have. They would have gone to the media. They would have caused a big shit story. That's what this person does. This person admits to being a harasser and a bully and doesn't let things go. Admittedly, in their own comments that were deleted, but it's out on the internet, they admit to being a harasser and a bully and they would have done everything they could to get this person fired. So if they hadn't kowtowed to her, this person's demands, you know damn well they would have made it 10 times worse. So what is, and now they're going to bleed out money. Absolutely guaranteed they're going to bleed out money. There are a lot of people that aren't vocally against what happened. They're going to be like, hell, I don't even want well, to touch this. Well, basically it sounds people. like we are, we want people to feel safe and, and everything. As long as you're those people and it's our own people, we don't care if you feel safe or not. Pretty much. I mean, and again, you know, you can see the people in charge. They have certain politics, whatever, but that, that in a functional company, an actual company, right? A for-profit company, which by the way, if you look into Tinker's tweets, there are a lot of anti-capitalist sentiments in there. So yeah, I mean, so clear, great. Well, good job. Good job living on games. Clearly, uh, Tinker does not have your, your financial interest in mind. But if a proper company would put the politics aside and be like, you have to do what's best for the company. And I'm sorry, throwing one of your employees uh, under the wheels of the bus, hanging them out to dry publicly because of the complaints of one person with a very sordid history is a really bad business decision. And if I were the owner, say like Embracer Group, I'd be like, you're gonna cost us a shit ton of money and you're gonna give us a public black eye because now they've got it on two sides. They they hung their female employee out to dry. So and, they're, they're gonna be accused of misogyny and gaming. And they're also letting Purple Tinker take all the blame and That's get true. all the hate. So there was no way to win this Which one. again, do not send messages do to not people do that. threatening do things like do that. Not. It does not help. And it actually just, then they'll just take those messages. I mean, if they're real, they'll take those messages and show them off and then be like, look, look, I'm harassed. Harassment, you can't, you can't say anything to me because I'm being targeted. You're actually, that's anti-help. It is anti-help. So uh, if you can't if you can't make your point without resorting to name calling, then you don't. As far as I'm concerned, you no, know, I still stand by uh, Petty Turd. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.